This is Ken Leone, National Sales Manager for Heroics, and in this brief video, I'll explore Longitude's reporting capabilities. Reports allow IT personnel to quickly report on performance and availability for environments both large and small. And as we'll also see, Longitude reports on problem history, which is really helpful, especially when management wants to see what happened and when. Reports are launched when we select reports from the gray selector menu. The available reports are listed based on the IT infrastructure components and applications currently being monitored. Here we can select to report based on application performance and availability. We can also choose to report on problem history by reporting on events. Notice when we select a specific reporting option, we can see the list of reports available to us. So here are VMware related reports. SQL related reports, and I'll go back to Windows. Reporting on history is as simple as going back in time. Longitude maintains a year's worth of historical data. The navigation pane allows us to select which servers and network devices we'd like to report on. Here we are reporting on Windows performance at the enterprise level but I can go right to the detail of a specific server simply by selecting it. We can also leverage grouping to report based on any criteria. For example, we've grouped our servers and network devices based on application and location. The reporting concepts here have applicability no matter the report. So we'll start with something simple, a VMware report. What we are reporting here is VM CPU usage. Notice I can drill for more detail. I can see that I'm around 58% usage. If I want to look at the raw data, I can simply click on show table and toggle back. Let's go back to the console again and do a summary. There are also other reporting options available. I can schedule the report to run on an automated basis. I can control a description of the report. I can determine when the report runs. I can have the report emailed. I can export the report. For example, you could export Longitude's reports into SharePoint. I can control the reporting period and I can control what hours of the day we're reporting on. Once I've batched the report, it shows up under Scheduled Reports. The scheduled report shows that it's been run, and here's the report. I can also edit the report, delete the report, or even run the report on an ad hoc basis. Notice under Report Options, I can save the report as an image, or I can export the data for the underlying report as a CSV file. Let's take a look at a few other reports. Let's report on uptime. And let's just do the North American location. I have some servers that have 100% uptime, and as you can see here, I've got a couple of servers that are down. Maybe I'd like to report on response time. Here's the ping response time for all the servers that are in the North America location. For more detail, I can drill. All report options are available to me, and if I want to look at the raw data, I can look at the raw data. Let's get some historical context. You have a problem, you want to get some problem history, we're going to report on events. So here are my application events. These are problems that Longitude has identified. We can see Prague has one critical problem and two major. Let's drill. We can see that these problems are happening persistently over time. Let's look at the major issues. And we'll expand this just a bit. And we can see we have high CPU process. And we'll get a description here. And we can see that this problem is happening over and over again. So every time an event is generated, it's date and time stamped. 
And we also had a critical problem as well. And we can see that we have a disk drive that's low on space. And again, we have some problem history here. To summarize, longitude reporting is fast and easy to navigate. You can automate your reporting. And you can report on performance and availability, as well as problem history. Thank you for watching, and to learn more about Longitude, I'd encourage you to click on the link you see here.